Well, after a fire mm. believed to have been caused by lightning ripped through a Volusia County home, neighbors are helping get results for the family just days before their kids are set to go back to school. News 6's Troy Campbell is outside the home on Azalea Drive in Edgewater, where the kids lost almost everything inside. A set of twins who live here at this house are set to begin school on Monday. You can take a look behind me and you can see the covers over the roof where the flames traveled through. I heard this big clap. So I came out. Kathleen Bashong says just after 3 p.m. yesterday, she heard a loud lightning strike near her home. Moments later, she says she worked to get her family outside, which included her one week old granddaughter. I could see smoke coming out of the light. These photos posted on social media by her neighbor Tammy Auburn show the extensive damage. The roof ripped open, furniture covered in ash, puddles of water now covering the floor in the bedrooms. You think you're there by yourself. But when something like this happens and you see the massive, I'm talking about massive response. Community members then showing up to the house to make sure Bashong and her family were safe. She threw her arms around me and she had a big smile on her face. And um, I thought I was going to see the devastation, but instead um, she was just happy. Neighbors say Bashong has inspired a lot of people in her community, fostering more than 30 children over the past 40 years. Then in her mid 60s, adopting twins who are set to begin sixth grade on Monday. I know firsthand when you're dealing with insurance companies, it takes a while to get things. Auburn says she's getting results by using her house and several businesses nearby to drop off donations to help Bashong and her family get back on their feet. There are a few people that have really touched my heart and really helped me along the way. And Kathleen Bouchong was one of them. We've posted a link on our website of area businesses you can stop at to donate. Also coming up at 530, we'll show you more on how community members say that Bouchong's work to help children in need inspires them to get results and give back. In Edgewater, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.